This example is to find the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse. So something like this. So we have a pulse that lasts for one second from minus half to half with an amplitude of one. And the question is, what's the Fourier transform? What's that in the frequency domain? So to do that, to find that expression, we would need to carry out a Fourier transform integration. So we would simply replace f of t here with its value, which happens to be 1, and replace the limits of the integration instead of minus infinity to infinity from minus half to half. So I'm replacing f of t with 1, and then e to the minus j omega t dt. So that simplifies to minus 1 over j omega times e to the minus j omega t, and the limits minus half to half. And remember, because we're integrating over time, then these limits will apply to t. So this half will apply to t. So watch out. If we were integrating over frequency, the limits would be limits on frequency. So we can now say this is minus 1 over j omega times e to the minus j omega over 2 minus e to the minus minus j omega over 2. And the minus minus we can simply remove. And now we have this expression, which if you look carefully, almost looks like a sine function. So you've got the j in the denominator, and that minus sign will be helpful in a second. Let me remind you what sine looks like. So sine x can be written as e to the jx minus e to the minus jx over 2j. And if you look carefully, that is almost the same as that. So this minus sign will allow me to exchange the order of these two. And I can now write it as, well, before that, I'd probably need to insert a 2 here and a 2 there. So I haven't changed anything. I've simply made it look like a sign. So now what I have is 2 over omega multiplied by sine omega over 2, which is the same as saying sine omega over 2 divided by omega over 2. And if you remember that the sinc function, sinc x is sine x over x, I can now rewrite this as sinc omega over 2, which is a really useful Fourier pair to know. So now we know that a rectangular function in the time domain corresponds to a sinc function in the frequency domain. And that would be your final answer.